Well, it's that time of year again. <laughs> Half of the mail that I receive now is from organizations looking for contributions from the animal rescue leagues uh, to some not so worthy uh, people. And uh, one of the things that's always difficult, of course, is there's always more requests for funds than there are funds available. It's a really interesting passage in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 5 through 9, uh, because Paul is reminding the Corinthians uh, about the need that's in Jerusalem. Here's what he says. He says, so I thought it necessary to urge the brethren that they might, uh, that they would go on ahead of you and arrange beforehand your previously, your previously promised bountiful gift so that the same would be ready as a beautiful gift and not affected by covetousness. Now this I say, he who sows sparingly will reap sparingly. He who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each one must do just as he has purposed in his heart, not grudgingly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to make all grace abound to you, so that always having all sufficiency in everything, you may have an abundance for every good deed. What an incredible passage of scripture. I wish I could take an hour on each verse, uh, but there's some key words in this particular passage of scripture. One is covetousness. Uh, we, we need to be careful of not coveting what we have because we're just stewards of God. Uh, the second word that's in here is uh, sparingly. Uh, there's a positive and a negative to sparingly. There's a positive in the fact that we should be very careful what organizations and what causes we give to, that the money is going to be used wisely and that the organization is going to use it for the cause that we're giving it for and not for something else, like all administration and very little going on to the actual cause. And so we have this uh, uh, sparingly, but we also have bountifully. A and it's really interesting because uh, the ending verse tells us that God's going to make sure we have enough to give bountifully. Uh, for every good deed is the exact word phrases that are in the New American Standard Bible. So here we are at a Christmas season. We have an opportunity uh, to give to a lot of causes. And God says, as we purpose in our heart, one of the things that you've got to do is you've got to pray about what you're going to give and that it be in proportion to the amount of blessings that you've received and that it be for a cause that's worthy a cause that God would have us give to. Uh, this is always a tricky thing. Every year it's difficult to cut through all of the different causes, all the different ways that you can give your resources. And so we need to be sure that when we're giving to the church, to missions, to charities, to family, that we do it from the heart, having prayed about what we should give having prayed about how we should share what we've been blessed with, and remembering that it has to be with a right heart, not give to get, that doesn't work, but it's to give according to what God wants us to give. God is able to make all grace abound to you, so that always having all sufficiency in everything, you may have an abundance for every good deed. Yes. You see, you can't outgive God, but your heart's got to be right, and you got to be sure that you don't give uh, with a, a grudging or a stingy heart. The Lord loves a cheerful giver, but he expects us to use our head as we give. And that's your thought for the day, and for this particular giving season, God bless you and have a great day.